So we're going mowing. We're going mowing with the new mower. Well, actually, I've already been mowing with the new mower, but we're going to go and finish off one of the fields. Um, we're doing the fields for Archie, as requested. There's three of them to do. I've done two already, and I've done the headland of one. But it got too late last night, and I was just fed up with it. So uh, I thought, I'll finish it off today. So we're going to head down and do that now. Um, I still haven't had a chance to speak to Pierre. And I want to make it priority to find him today uh, and speak to him about Dai's situation. Because if Dai is having trouble, then... I think it's only fair that we should all chip in and help and not leave it to be the burden of just Pierre. My suspicions now are that Pierre owns Dye's farm. But I don't know that for sure. So that, you know, I, I, I want to find out what's going on and see if there's anything that can possibly be done to help both of them because if that's the situation, then it's going to be uh, quite tough for them both. So, as you can see, that field there we've already done. Um, we've got the one at the end of the track here to do. I've done the one at the back. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll get into it. Open up the gate. And we can get this field finished. So, I'm very impressed with this mower. It's got a very wide cut on it, as you can see. That's just one cut there. So, much, much wider than that little thing that we were using that we had before. And we can get a lot done, a lot. Oh, who's this? Oh, what's he want? Hello? Here. What are you doing? Well, I'm just about to start cutting some grass. Whose grass are you cutting then? I think you know whose grass I'm cutting. Oh, what are you doing that little weasel's grass for? Can you find another job to do? No. Money's money at the end of the day, isn't it, David? Aye. Any road, I've called to tell you a joke. A joke? I heard it down pub last night, thought it was real funny. Yeah, I'm gonna tell it to you. <sighs> Go on then. What looks like a horse eats like a horse, but an horse. Hold on a minute, that's not right. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what's black and white? And eats like a horse, but an horse. A zebra? Oh, how do you know that? Well, it's quite, it's quite obvious, isn't it, really? No, no. I don't think I like you anymore. <laughs> well, that's up to you, isn't it? I've got to get on. See you later. Hi, ta da. <laughs> well, I don't know what's funny of the Joker in. Never mind. Here we go.
pretty much done. Got this little triangle left to do. Uh, which will just take a couple of passes. And then we'll go and see Archie, let him know that we're done. Uh, he's not said anything about anything else being done with it. I'm pretty sure he just wanted it topped off. So that is what we've done. Uh, and anyway, I haven't got anything to tell it or row it. So, um, yeah, that's uh, not my problem really. And I, David's not going to let me use his equipment. So, not to do this for him. Uh, so yeah, uh, news on Pete. Pete is home. Pete is back with Ginny. Finally, he's uh, he's stopped the booze. He's gone back to Ginny. He's got himself sorted by all accounts, which is fantastic news. And we haven't got to keep checking on him, which is even better. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it was worrying. It was worrying. It's it's never good to see. I say a friend. He's an acquaintance, really. But it's you know, to see someone have a, a problem like that, it's never good. And you just you just want to help. And if you can't help, you just want to see that they're okay at the end of the day. And that's what that's what it's all about. Making sure everybody's okay. Making sure everyone's all right. So we're gonna we're gonna head up here now. We'll close up all the gates as we go out. I'm gonna stop off at Archie, and then we're gonna find Pierre because I I want, like I said, I want to I want to I want to speak to him. I want to get to the bottom of a few things and see if we can help there as well. So we'll just get this gate closed. There's that one. And we'll get this one closed. There we go. Heavy job. And I think we'll just pull up on the road just outside his house. He's still here, his car's still here, so that's something just here should do it right now horse is looking happy hello John good morning um, how are you uh, I've just come to let you know that I've finished your fields, Archie. Oh, excellent. And how many bales were there? How many bales were there? Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I wanted bales as well. Well, you never said. Oh. Well, I thought you'd just do it. Why would I just do it? Well, I, 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 I've, I've rented the equipment from Nile. Right. And I'm supposed to know that because. Well, uh, uh, be, well, well can you can you do it? Ugh. I suppose. Yeah, it's going to cost you though. Y y yes, yes. Uh, 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 okay. Right. What an idiot he is. <sighs> Let's uh, let's go and see Pierre. Let's um, we'll pull up here. Oh, he's just wound me up. <sighs> let's. Uh... Pierre, you about? What's this? Hey, that's my old mower. Oh, I wish he'd said that he was looking for a morrow, I'd have sold it to him. He wouldn't have had to have bought it off Nile. 
Up here. No. Where are? Where is he? I want to find him. Yeah. What? Finland. Right then. Ah. Oh. Whoa! Jeez! Don't, don't sneak up like that. Oh, Jean. I'm sorry if I startled you. Well, you did startle me just a bit too. Right. I want to ask you a question, and I want you to be honest with me, Pierre. Uh huh? What's going on with Di? Is there a problem? Oh... No, Jean. I will have to take you back and tell you all about it. Well, yeah. Uh, li listen, Pierre, if... Um, if you guys need help with, with anything that's going on, you know that we're all here to, to help you. Yeah? Oh, I know, Jean. It's just so difficult. And it was a hard time for, for Dai. And he didn't know what to do. Okay, well, tell me about it then. Tell me what the problem is. Well, it was going back just after the, uh, just after we had the storm. And uh, I decided to go up uh, to the pub to have uh, dinner. So I was driving my lovely Lada and listening to my favorite French music. Yes, I, 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 I think you can spare me that bit, Pierre. Oh, oui, oui. Any, anyway, I, I got to the pub, and I pulled into the car park, and I saw Dai's truck was parked there. So I pulled up next to it, and I went into the pub. Right. Well, in there I found Dai, and he was by the... By the what you what what you call it the uh, the, 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 the the bar, yes the bar, and uh, he was very upset. Okay. And he said to me, "Oh, oh, Pierre, I just don't know what to do. The council, the council have told me that they won't pay for the repairs on the farm." and that they're going to sell it off as a lost cause. I don't have the money to be able to buy the farm, and I just don't know what to do. I haven't got anything. So I said to him, what was the price they were looking for? And he replied that he did not know. Oh, I don't know, Pierre. They won't tell me anything. So I said to him, well, how can I help? What is it that I can do? I don't know, Pierre. It just seems like a really lost cause. So anyway, Jean, I went away, and I spoke to a few people, and I decided to sell the pig farm, and then buy the little farm here, and buy Dai's farm for him, and do all of the repairs. So now, that brings us to where we are, and he is still struggling. So I went and I bought him the new tractor because he cannot afford to buy that either and the Fiat it keeps breaking down on him and he can't afford to repair it. I see. So it's quite a sticky situation you've got into. Oui, oui, Jean. Okay, well. We'll see what we can do, Pierre. Thank you, Jean. Well, I've been home for lunch, and we're just pulling up here into Niles' yard to get this wind rower. And I presume there's a baler here as well somewhere. There's the baler, by the looks of it. Anyway, let's uh, let's quickly speak to Niall, get this sorted out. Afternoon, mate. John, I can't believe you're the walk for him. No, I can't believe you're renting him equipment. Well, it looks like we're as bad as each other, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I've come to pick up the wind rower. Um, and apparently there's a baler here as well. 
Yeah, the baler's in the workshop having the service, and the windrow is set out there, ready to go. Excellent, Niall. Thank you very much, mate. I shall see you later. Not a problem, John. I'll catch you later, mate. Ta-da. Right, let's get this windrow on. Well, I have to say that the whole Pierre die situation is quite... It's quite a somber situation, really. Um, I'm disappointed that neither of them has come to either me or David. I guess maybe there's some kind of embarrassment or, you know, it's, it's, it's never good when you get into a dire situation like that. I'm shocked about the council, but at the same time, I'm not. Do you know, I really like that fence. It looks good with the with the silver grill. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm I'm not shocked with the council, but I am. You know, it's you you you'd expect them to at least have a go and try and help, but to just throw it out from underneath your feet is. It's pretty disgusting, really, isn't it? But, yeah, it's the, the... What can you do about them? I don't, I don't think you can do anything about it, really. Uh, and what they've done is the best that they can do with the situation. It's left Pierre... Um, with... Uh, well, I was going to say it's left him with little, but it hasn't, because he owns the farm. But, you know, he's... It's he owns it for die, so it's a it's a tangled it's a tangled mess really when you think about it. I think maybe what might have been better is if Pierre had probably you know bought the farm and then sold it to die at an affordable price that die could to, could pay monthly. You know, like a like a loan sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know all the ins and outs of that side of thing. But yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's a bit sad. But they seem to be muddling through. And now, now I know. Obviously, you know, I'm going to speak to David. We're, and, and I'm sure David will be the same as me. And we'll we'll kind of try and pull together and see what we can what we can do to help but it's a it's a real tricky situation isn't it really never mind it's uh, it's something that we can work on and we can see where we can go with it and uh, it's kept die in a farm for now at least
So, it's raining. And guess what? I am not going to stop. <laughs> He's going to have soggy wet bales. And I don't care. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just finishing off now. So we're just going around and doing the last... The last row of the headland. And then we can get off home. I'm just going to take the wind rower home tonight. Because uh, Niall's going to be shut now anyway. So I will take that down. And then we'll just pick up the baler tomorrow. And we'll bail it. But I tell you what. I am going to charge him some serious money for this. If he thinks he's getting all of it done for the price that I quoted in the first place, he's got another thing coming. And I bet that's what he was... I bet that's the angle he was going for as well. But uh, this is the last time. This is the last. I'm not doing any more for him after this. I've had enough of him. He's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And he muddles through and manages to screw everything up for everyone else around him. And come out of it, surprisingly, smelling of roses. You know, well, not smelling of roses, but he comes out of it making a hefty amount of money. And that's, yeah, it's not happening anymore. Not happening at all. Oh, I forgot to open this one. There we go. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for today. I've had enough. I'm going home. I've run out of tea in me flask. And, um... Yeah. What an odd day we've had today. What a very odd day we've had today. Anyway. Let's get home. Let's have some dinner. Let's have a nice fresh cup of tea as well. <laughs> 